Good day everybody and welcome to really do. I'm starting out about three minutes earlier so that um, we can get by all the technical we can you know bypass all the technical things that usually happen when we come on board so once you come online just let me know that you're online and we'll kick off what we have for today first of all I want to announce that um, this is the final week where we're going to be talking about cryptocurrency and um, I'm going to do my best to in fact let me just wait until somebody comes online before I say this and I'm speaking this for the benefit of those who will watch this on demand so um, yeah okay if you're watching this on demand you're probably seeing me right now so I better give the information um, so yeah today okay okay junior is online right now so I can continue talking okay so like I was saying this is the final week for talking about cryptocurrency on this particular live and um, there's going to be a few changes as to how we do live on the channel so in as much as we are uh, planning to we we originally planned to be coming up Tuesdays Thursdays and Fridays by 6 p.m. Um, we'll be coming up just once in a month on the first week of the month so the very first Tuesday of every new month we'll be coming up live and we'll be talking about something really interesting in the areas of finance investment and all of that good evening Nike. Uh, welcome on board so yeah so we're switching things up again um, just to make it a little more um, interesting so that um, when we come on live we're coming on you know doing something stronger something more in uh, uh, it'll be richer so the lives we're going to be taking that's going to be coming in once a month should be richer um, hopefully it should be able to last at least an hour you know uh, we should be able to take questions and able to just chat just relate on the different topics I'll do my best to get uh, somebody on board um, so it's gonna be a major live program um, that's that's the way I'm hoping and planning to go about it that when we're coming on live once a month like I said it's it should be rich you know you should be ready to spend at least an hour we're talking discussing it's gonna be question and answer sessions interactions and all of that that's going to be very very interesting so um, yeah that's what you should you can come to expect so what that means is that this is the final week for the three coming on live three times a week okay so let me just repeat it again so that we get the point so we're rounding up the cryptocurrency topic this week and this week we're coming up Tuesday just like this Thursday 6 p.m. and Friday 6 p.m. for this week after this week's broadcast for these three days the very next time we're coming on um, live will be on the first week of May so the very first Monday of the month we're coming on live 6 p.m. as well and we're going to be talking about a topic that should be rich and it should it should carry life and everything so I'm going to be doing my best to make those lives very interesting by getting people on board to interview, to talk on various topics. So what that means is we're going to make it a major event. We're going to do our best to invite as many people as possible to come on board. There's going to be advertisement for that particular live. You're going to know what we're talking about and it should be interesting. You know, it should, it should be an interesting 45 minutes to an hour. There should be question and answer session you know just really interesting but it's once a month very rich and all of that so yeah so that's the announcement and that's what I'm talking about so today what we're going to be talking about 
I'm going to do my best this week to sort of round up on all the things we've been talking about, about cryptocurrency, so that if anybody is able to watch this from the very first live stream on this particular uh, topic to the end, they should be able to have a very good idea about what to expect when they come trading uh, in crypto. Now, there's something I want to say. I want to, I want to give a major disclaimer. Um, this is not giving you any kind of financial advice. This is not a financial advice. This is not promoting any kind of cryptocurrency for you to trade. This is not promoting cryptocurrency as an investment platform for you to get into. This is just giving you information on certain opportunities that are available out there for you to make money. That is not the conventional nine to five. So cryptocurrency is also one of those things. And we're just giving you information. So this is not financial advice and all of that. Because for this week, I'm going to be talking about the top five cryptocurrency coins, cryptocurrencies that you can trade in. So I have to make that disclaimer that I am not asking you to trade any of these coins. I'm just giving you the information so that you know about it and you can do your own personal research and get into it. So that being said, let's go into what we have in store today. And I'm still going to be giving you some information because um, some more information because this is the final week, you know, so let's round it up really good. If there's anything I haven't touched, I'm suspecting that I haven't really defined what cryptocurrency is. I haven't really dis defined what a crypto exchange Okay, I've defined what the crypto exchange is, but I, I don't think I've really defined cryptocurrency. Um, I don't think I've re really defined what a coin is and how a coin is different from a token and all the other things that can be done on a crypto exchange platform. So if you are online right now and you know the difference between a coin and a token, um, go ahead and just leave it in the chat box and I'll still talk about it as well. Um, you hear things of NFTs, non-fungible tokens. You know, what is it all about? Well, basically a coin is um, a currency, of course, that you can use to do transactions, you know, um, actually exchange right a token is something you can use to um pay for value being rendered in the crypto network okay so a, a token is different from a coin anybody in the chat box that <clears throat> can even clarify more on this particular definition can go ahead um <laughs> nikke said i haven't yeah i i don't think i've touched those those things and those are important things to touch um, but today, let's get into what we have in store today. Um, I think I have explained good enough what a coin is, how it's different from a token. And um, anybody in the chat box wants to explain more, can go ahead and explain and contribute to what I've already said. But I'm going to move on. So we're here talking about the uh, coins. All right. There are, there are over 3,000 cryptocurrencies in existence. Okay, there are over 3,000 cryptocurrencies in existence. That's amazing. Like, that is crazy. Okay, uh, you know, thinking about how cryptocurrency is actually created. It's something called, you know, uh, crypto mining. Okay, people actually mine these cryptocurrencies and put them out there and make them available for people to have exchanges and all of that. And cryptocurrency started... A long time ago uh, 2008 that was when the first set of um, you know cryptocurrency scribble things were just coming out during that time and now it's beginning to look as if it's going to be the future of finance but hey everybody has their fingers crossed but, <laughs> but you know like we said before the whole thing about you know not being so regulated and all of those things might have might, might, might create a particular type of challenge you know it's not insured and all of that so let's go into what we have in store today i'm trying to give you a lot of information because i realized that this is the last week i'm going to be talking on crypto so there are over three thousand cryptocurrencies in existence at the moment some of these coins are are meme coins 
or cryptocurrencies created for fun. Some of them are utility tokens, that is coins used as a way of paying for a service on a blockchain. Exactly. So I've already said that. I knew I was, I was supposed to talk about that. So a token is a coin used to pay for a service on the blockchain. Okay. So on the crypto network and others are just digital money or coins like we know them created to be used as a form of payment like Bitcoin and Litecoin. Okay. So they are also useless or fake coins that have gone out of the market. Okay. They are no longer there. So because of the large number of coins to choose, it is easy to get lost in the fake coins and scams and even abandoned coins. So there are coins that are actually abandoned that a person might not really know. Okay. So it is always good to pick the right coin and that's always why we're here to talk to you. Yeah. So that's what I'm talking to you today about the right coins to pick. But before we start talking about the, 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 the right coins to pick, in fact, I don't think I'm going to talk about a coin today. I think I'm going to focus on three important things, all right, that you need to pay attention to when coming into trading. I'm going to use today to focus on those three things so that we take this step by step because it's more than just knowing about the coins to trading. You have to understand these three simple terms. The first term is called volatility, okay? Volatility speaks about is basically you know the price fluctuations in in the market okay so usually in the stock exchange or even in metal trading like gold and silver <clears throat> you don't always have heavy price fluctuations and the volatility is considered very low or medium but in, in the crypto space a coin or token can swing up and down between 10 percent to 50% on a normal day. So think about it. Okay, something you bought for 20 uh 20 naira or 20 dollars, you know, in the morning, the value might actually go as as low as 20 cents by the evening. All right? And something that you bought at 20 dollars in the morning can actually go as high as a as as a thousand dollars in the evening. That's what volatility is. That's the idea of volatility. And I think that is one of the one of the unique selling points of cryptocurrency trading. This high volatility experience there where people know that um, this thing can shoot up or this thing can go low. But let's continue to read as we look more into volatility. Yeah. On a normal day this means that the traders can lose up to 50 percent of their initial capital or gain more than 50 percent profits in a single day while the general crypto market suffers from high volatility some coins are more volatile than others essentially traders should look for coins that are experiencing an upward volatility trend that is it is increasing in price and trade those coins the level of volatility of a coin on a given day should also indicate to the trader that the investment, whether the investment is risky or not. So imagine that you go to your, your platform to trade on a particular day and you see the level of volatility on a particular coin. It should tell you the level of risk that is involved in trading that particular coin or not. So you see that I'm taking you a little bit deeper into the experience of trading by explaining this idea to you. So some coins drop to 10% of their value. That means they lose 90% in a particular day and everybody has to be very, very careful. Okay. So that's one of the things to look out for volatility and you have to pay attention to what's going on with a particular coin before you decide to either buy or sell. Now, the interesting thing about this is, like we said in, in, in last week's discussion, that the crypto exchange might have its own ideas about whether you should buy or sell. Because there are some experiences where, you know, the volatility might not be favorable for you and you want to sell that particular coin, but the exchange is not letting you sell that particular coin 
Bitcoin and so on and so forth. So that's how we talked about choosing the right exchange. The next thing I want to talk about today is something called volume. Okay, so what this means is basically how much of a particular coin is being bought and sold within the day. So if you say you want to you wanna, uh, trade in Bitcoin today, how much of Bitcoin is being bought and sold today? How much of Ethereum is being bought and sold today? How much of um, Luna coin is being bought and sold today? You know, uh, how much of these coins are being bought? That is the volume for that particular day. Right, so we we'll continue. If globally the coin is being bought and sold randomly in a way that the buying and selling allows money to exchange from multiple hands to the tune of say a hundred million dollars, then you can be sure that if you want to buy a hundred dollars worth of a coin, there will be a person willing to sell and vice versa, or that they will have enough volume to fill the request. Okay, so, so I want to stop here. Uh, I want to read what Vivian wrote in the chat. She says, yeah, exchange scam happens too, especially when Bitcoin is dropping and all coins are falling. Exchanges lock people out and you can't sell sometimes. So that's buttressing what I've already said before. So we continue to explain about volume, right? So basically volume is about, you know, you want to sell a particular coin at a certain price, okay? You have a lot of, if there's a lot of volume, that means a lot of people are buying at that particular time, that particular coin. It is possible that you will buy, you will find somebody that will be willing to buy your coin at the price that you're putting it on because there's volume, there's a lot of activity on that coin. And then vice versa, if there is low activity on the coin or no activity on the coin, you trying to sell that particular coin might be difficult. So while some coins have more trading activities and more volume than others, so the ones with less volume, if a trader wants to sell that particular coin urgently because they are very scarce or they have low trade volume, uh, they, they may put a request on the exchange but nobody may buy because there is low volume. So certain coins have low volume and even if the price and volatility is good, you may struggle to cash out on those coins at a particular time. Okay, so that's the thing about volume. So there's a particular coin that might have a, 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 a lot of volatility and the price is good and all of that going on, but it doesn't have a lot of volume. That means a lot of people are not necessarily buying it at that particular time. I don't know if you have ever um, downloaded, <laughs> uh, let me just leave that alone. Okay, so, so basically that's what volume is, okay? Lots of activities on a particular coin, that means you can find somebody to buy at a particular time. And the third thing I want to talk about today is, and, that, and that's the final thing I'll talk about today because I don't want to talk, I don't want to say too much, I don't want to give too much information. Um, today, today we're just focusing on the three things when it comes to you tr when it comes to you buying or trading a particular coin okay these are the three things to look at for and then of course the last major thing I'm talking about today is crypto exchange okay so last week we talked about crypto exchange that was a major focus of last week but I'll look into it briefly today so I've been talked to before last week so before investing in the coin consider the fact that your choice must be available on a reputable exchange. Otherwise, you will find it difficult to trade. That means buy or sell the coin in a profitable manner. What this means is that some coins may not be readily accessible from anywhere and you may need to use a particular exchange all the time. Restricting your profitability as the exchange may have high fees or may have only one withdrawal in 24 hours. So, yeah, the exchange, all right? You might have a particular coin that is not available, you know, that being able to buy or sell on different platforms and different exchanges might not be easy and that might create a challenge. So we're talking about volume, we're talking about volatility and we're talking about crypto exchange, 
okay so let me go into the chats um, junior says a lot of people are trying to sell at the same time maybe their system crash that's what I hear but yeah so yeah so sometimes these are the excuses that these um, exchanges might give as to why it's not possible for you to withdraw when you want to withdraw that's what uh, junior is telling us uh, King Miner, welcome on board it's 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 good to have you on board so I talked about the three things I want to talk about today I want to keep it simple I want you to understand you know systematically moving forward um, Seth says it's good to know all this and remember them when trading exactly so it's good to to know about volume about volatility and about your crypto exchange uh, to be able to trade properly so in case you want to do this like for real like a professional and all of that that means you have to be navigating through these different things at different times and so there are other factors like the news social media and you know current if 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 current current events <laughs> that might affect the 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 crypto market space okay that might create volatility might create volume might also um, create challenges for exchanges and it's always good to look to these things and understand them before um, going into trading as a whole so yeah so on Thursday I'm gonna start talking about the coins today I just wanted to establish these three things so that you have the backdrop to know how to pick a particular coin that you want to start trading and how to get um, into what you need to get into like junior says the events that affect crypto trading could be like like the war in ukraine and all of that all these things could affect the, the crypto current currency space so thank you so much for watching um don't forget to join in on thursday 6 p.m I think I'm going to be talking about three coins on that Thursday and then on Friday I'll be talking about the two top coins that you can trade and then we can move on from there I'm also going to be giving you certain tips on how to get into this properly because we're trying to round up this particular topic so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for coming on board every single person that's online right now thank you so much for coming on board remember that um, yeah we're not gonna have Thursday Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, next week, but the upper week Tuesday, which is the first week of the, no, the upper week Monday, the first Monday of the month is when we're coming on live 6 p.m., all right? And that's, we're going to be doing that every single month, talking about different topics. Before I go, let me just point to what Junior Telema is saying, price dropped. So Junior Telema is just saying that one of the events that affected the crypto space caused for drive, uh, the price to drop was the war in ukraine thank you so much for being part of this particular live broadcast catch you again in the next one so until next time remember all right good day everybody and welcome to today's broadcast once again my name is donald and today we'll continue our series talking about how to get into cryptocurrency trading now uh, this week we're talking about the different coins that you can begin to trade in um, In our previous broadcast on Tuesday, I was supposed to go into the coins, but I decided to um, Talk about three things that you will come to experience three things that you will come to pay attention to that'll help you with your cryptocurrency trading so if you haven't watched that video I'd like for you to go and check it out um, and so that you can be part of the entire move well today we're going to be talking about two particular coins and I'm going to be focusing on just these two coins for today but it's important that you watch the previous broadcast um, of course today I came on at about 6 p.m. and um, yeah so I just have to go straight to it but when you come online when you come online just let me know that you can hear me 
in the chat box and I will know but before you guys come online I'm just gonna keep going for the sake of um, on-demand videos okay all right so oh I'm just gonna wait for you to come online okay let me just wait for at least a number of you to come online before I start talking about the major things I need to talk about today so um, yeah um, but before going to what we have in store today I think I can use this time to talk about a few changes that we're making um, on the program on this particular live show like I said on Tuesday this week is going to be the final week where we're going to talk about cryptocurrency and it's also going to be the final week um, that we're going to be coming up on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays at 6 p.m. Okay, so uh, tomorrow is going to be the final day on these three days broadcast that we do. Um, the next time I'm going to be broadcasting will be on the first Monday of May. So just about a week after this particular one, I'm going to be on here and i'll be talking about a topic that will really help your business if you're a business person if you're somebody who wants to make money i'll be talking about a topic that's very interesting and you want to be part of it and um and i'm going to be taking some time so because this this particular platform this particular program is all about helping people achieve that beautiful balanced successful life that financial life um, to achieve that um, you know that quality life so we're here to inspire you to do more motivate you to do more and give you the strategies and the tips that you need um, I also want to say that the fact that I'm going to talk about these coins doesn't mean that I am suggesting in any way that okay welcome junior welcome welcome glad to have you on board I can see that you guys are coming Okay, good. So the fact that I'm talking about these coins doesn't mean that, welcome Vivian, doesn't mean that I'm trying to encourage you to trade any of these coins, okay? It's just to give you an idea. This is not a financial advice. This is not me trying to give you financial advices and all of that. If you want to get financial advice, look for a qualified professional. Welcome King Miner. I'm glad to have you on board. So look for a professional you know financial advisor to give you those advices so like I said welcome Nike glad to have you on board good evening so like I said today I'm gonna to be talking exactly about those coins okay we're going into the coins last week we talked about different things but this week we're going straight into the coins so the first coin I'm, I'm gonna be talking about um, in my personal list because like we said in the previous broadcast there are over was it was it over three three thousand points and different they all have their different um pros and cons and what have you so i did a list um a list of five points and based on my list i'm going to start from the least to the best um based on statistics based on what people are saying that's what they say is the best and then based on my own personal review um, I'll talk about the list that's number five and then we'll move up so the very first coin I'm going to be talking about on this particular series I'm talking about two coins today the first one I'm talking about is Solana okay Solana is a coin this is a cryptocurrency and it's an open source project just like some of the other ones that we have out there and it is designed to provide financial solutions or better yet described it is designed to provide decentralized finance solutions or DEFI pronounced DeFi to its users so I'm asking the question why why you know when I saw this I thought to myself why do people need a decentralized financial solution so if you're if you're online right now watching this just give me a few reasons 
why a person would need a decentralized financial solution. Um, it sounds to me like this is basically for people who don't want their finances to be traced. <laughs> people who plan to do some funny bit. I don't know. But someone, someone please explain to me further in the chat box um, so that we get to understand more of it. Um, why people need decentralized finance solutions. I have my own personal idea. However, uh, my, my perspective is a bit more pessimistic. So someone give me a more optimistic approach all right i continue um talking about solana users can build applications on it run software and lots more because of its functionality it grew very fast to become number seven on the world top 10 crypto list it was only established in 2020 and sold for less than a dollar and in 2021 its price has rose to 250 dollars okay yeah okay defy um seth says that defy is not controlled by banks that's that's where i'm going seth that's where i'm going like i'm going i'm asking the question why are we moving away from something that is controlled by banks okay give me more okay let me let me ask the question better give me positive reasons okay government can't shut it down so there is no control from politics and all okay okay seth i'm gonna i'm going to engage you a lot more um and if ever any other person online that's there um they can explain more that further i want to ask a question okay so why would somebody want to get into financial transactions that do not have government control over it that's my question seth that's my question to everybody online right now watching this why give me a positive reason not a negative one because i already know of negative reasons <laughs> i think every normal person would know of negative reasons so somebody should give me a positive reason why a person would want to do a financial transaction and would not want to do it in a way that the government will be aware of it or in a way that you know politics will be involved and all that i'm beginning to think of some positive things but I want to hear what you have to say so i'll continue reading before we get back to this uh, uh conversation so it is currently competing with ethereum in terms of users and because it's cheaper to use so a lot of people have used have moved from various other platforms to the solana platform its volatility is normal for the crypto space and just like some of the other cryptocurrencies it goes up and down in price daily sometimes within the 50 percent change range it is also widely available in reputable exchanges and it's 24 hour volume that is daily transactions we already talked about volume are worth okay so its daily transactions are worth over 1 billion us dollars so it has a high transaction volume daily it has all the factors named above well covered so in as much as i think it's a it's a good uh coin to trade in let me repeat solana um of course once again this is not a financial advice so let's get back to our conversation about why people would want a decentralized financial uh something that does not have to do with the government okay the positive things positive things because i could think of negative things so king minor is giving us some very interesting um points he said decentralized finance is not affected by inflation okay okay i'm going to come back to that king minor also says sometimes sanctions from us affects currencies but DeFi will be isolated from it oh okay and okay that's that's that that makes sense that makes sense um so i have another question king miner i'm asking you questions because i want to know i want everybody to learn okay i'm asking the questions 
because I want everybody watching this to actually learn and see these things okay um, so I'll just ask this question I will move on okay Seth says it's faster than normal banks yeah yeah okay yeah I can see I can see that um, but I, I, I also want to ask something okay because we're all learning here um, I understand a number of these things but I want to see how, how we can uh, talk about it so you said that King Minor says that um, decentralized finance is not affected by inflation um, okay so if inflation can affect the fiat currencies that's dollar pounds euro how come it doesn't affect the cryptocurrency that's my question okay that's my question so um, yeah the Ukraine war Russia is still funded by DeFi and other currencies okay okay that's it but that's a negative thing now <laughs> that's a negative thing yeah you can move more money faster okay okay but answer and uh, uh, King my anybody on the chat can answer this question so if inflation can affect fiat currencies why doesn't why doesn't it affect cryptocurrency like for example uh, we've worked, we've talked about factors that could affect the price of crypto so you know where is that coming that's just the question I'm gonna move on as we <laughs> continue to have this debate the, 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 the second cryptocurrency um, I'm going to be talking about today is called Tether. Okay, so I've talked about number five. I'm talking about number four now. It's called Tether. This cryptocurrency is unique because it's designed to mimic the US dollar and it's also called USDT or USD Tether. It is like the digital dollar and although it is not created by the US government, it is now widely accepted in the crypto space as a substitute for a dollar. That's interesting. It has poor volatility, meaning that the price may move from one dollar, one cent to one dollar, two cents, but nothing more. Small changes or percentages like less than one percent okay so it has very low volatility and um, yeah King Miner is talking about the fact that you know cryptocurrency not being affected by regular governments was how <laughs> how Iran was you like okay Iran used cryptocurrency to help their government and all of that because of the US sanctions and all of that that's not a positive thing King that's not like I said positive things like I know of these other stuffs but I can get you I get you right I get you that the cryptocurrency is not affected by inflation and by government policies I get you on how that can be positive in a lot of ways you know and then you can move large monies faster I get you on how that can be positive in a lot of ways okay um, I understand that so we can move on <laughs> from the conversation I just wanted to get this conversation going so that whoever is watching can also have these questions in their heads and these ideas so we're still talking about the tether and the tether is like we said that it's kind of close to the US dollar and okay 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 Vivian I see you okay okay I get it I get it we can move from the conversation because Vivian is saying inflation is why the Naira is weak but if we buy crypto the value is locked and stays the same I get it I get it now so we can move from this conversation um, so I continue talking about the tether right so it says it doesn't it doesn't suffer from the high volatility the crypto market is known for but has a lot of advantages because of that yeah that would be a good advantage that would be a kind of like a good advantage you know coins like usdt are called stable coins 
and as the same as the name implies these coins remain stable in price regardless of what's going on in the market okay so that's interesting we have included this here because the kinds of trades you can do with USDT the kind of trades you can do with USDT are called or other stable coins like USDC or Terra USD are also very good you can buy Tether and stake it because it's because in an exchange over a period of time as you can stake it in an exchange over a period of time just like in a bank and you earn interest on it so yeah you can earn interest on this particular coin this is a very safe way to trade your coin as your coin remains at the same value you can buy tether and also trade it on person to person markets that are found on almost all exchanges called pair to pair or p2p market this is what most nigerians do you buy tether and wait for a price change which is usually a result of forex exchange of the dollar to the naira and they sell to make profits so this is also a profit profitable way to trade crypto Tether is trading in billions of dollars daily so it has a high transaction volume it is available in almost every cryptocurrency exchange and although it's not volatile so it's good for traditional trading and it's also good for Bitcoin meaning the price will never go up significantly it can be used for other forms of trading it currently has a market cap well over 80 billion dollars and is the number three coin in the market today all right so we've talked about Solana and we've talked about Tether and we've also had an interesting conversation about why cryptocurrency has to be decentralized i just asked that question because i wanted to have that conversation uh, to look at the positives and the negatives of this cryptocurrency being decentralized and trying to move away from the normal way transactions are being done and we've looked at some of the positive things you know um about this particular type of approach so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being on board thank you so much for being part of this particular broadcast talked about two coins tomorrow i'm going to be here by 6 p.m talking about three other coins and that will be like the grand finale for this particular week the grand finale for this thursday tuesdays thursdays and fridays broadcast and the next time i'm going to be coming on will be on the first monday of may 2021 so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being part of this i'm always happy to see everybody online always happy to see you online and until next time remember your okay all right people i'm back again on this final broadcast live in this way like i said in the previous broadcast this is the final day i'm coming up on tuesdays thursdays and fridays by 6 p.m the next time I'm coming up on the broadcast screen is going to be on the first Monday of May. All right? And we're going to be doing this every first Monday of the month. Okay, I'm going to be coming up live. I'm going to be talking about what I'm going to be talking about. And uh, when I come on live on the first Monday of May, I'm not going to be talking about crypto. I will be talking about something that small business owners and entrepreneurs and self-employed people are going to need to hear. So uh, prepare to be part of that. So I'm still waiting for you guys to come online. The moment I see about two or three people online, I'm going to kick off the discussion for today. Today is going to be loaded as we conclude talking about the top five cryptocurrency to trade into to be able to trade with all right junior 
good to have you on board so I'll be waiting for like two other people before I kick off today's broadcast today's the final day of coming up three times a week so how have you enjoyed coming up seeing me come up three times a week okay Vivian is on board I need one more person and then I'll kick off what we start what we have to do today we get on with the business of the day so yeah um, I'm going to be coming up once a month now and I'm going to be spending at least 30 minutes to an hour talking about various things that should help anybody achieve success and we're still going to be talking these topics on finance investments business ideas cryptocurrency you know ready bus challenges and all of that as well so i'm just waiting for one more person to come online and then i'll go oh okay we have we, we, all right let's just go since we don't have that much time all right so we're talking about the top five cryptocurrencies that you can trade and uh, their pros and their cons and different things um, if this if you're coming if you're watching this for the first time I'd, I'd like to advise that you go through the very first uh, broadcast of this particular week because we talk about something really interesting that every single person would have to know when it comes to trading crypto so yet yesterday we talked about two coins Today we're going to be talking about the final three. I'm going to be moving from number three to number two to number one. And then we'll wrap up for today. And not just wrap up for today alone, but wrap up for a good amount of time. So the next time you're going to see me is going to be on the first Monday of May. So the number three coin on my list is the Binance coin. The Binance coin is number three. As we discussed in our previous live stream, Binance was established around 2017. Binance is the world's largest crypto exchange. It has over $9 billion of volume in transaction. Okay, welcome King. <laughs> we started before you. I was waiting for three people to come online before I started, but hey, okay, so you're here. That's cool. So, $9 billion of volume in transactions daily. As we said, you know, when we're talking about crypto exchanges, um, we did hint on this, Binance. So, as part of our trading factors, it is well covered in terms of volume. The good thing about it is it has a lot of liquidity, that is money flowing in and out. And it has over 390 coins being traded on it. So this is talking about the Binance exchange. Binance token or BNB coin is used to pay some fees on the Binance exchange. So it is very relevant to the crypto space. BNB tokens can be found on most reputable crypto exchanges, but not all. That said, it is not readily traded everywhere. Okay. So you can't readily find this Binance coin on every exchange. Um, so if you're thinking about trading in it, just know that um, it's restricted to certain exchanges and you might not find it in certain other exchanges. If you trade BNB coins on the Binance platform, you should stand to enjoy some benefits like less transaction fees, discount offers, and lots more. To discuss our factors again, Binance's daily trading volume is also in billions of dollars and it can be traded on reputable exchanges. Its highest market cap as well is well over $90 billion. In, it, it hit over $90 billion in 2021 and although it started trading around the price of $0.10 cents in 2017, it has appreciated in value to a high of over $670 and is a very good coin to trade in. So the Binance token is a very good coin. Uh, most of the things I'm seeing about it 
is positive. A lot of things I'm saying about it is positive. And so we move on to the very next, that is number two on our list, which is Ethereum. Okay? I started hearing about Ethereum like quite some time back. Then I wasn't really into, into crypto trading. So Ethereum is the number two cryptocurrency in today's market. Now this is not just number two on my list, it's number two worldwide, okay? Ethereum, as the world's second largest cryptocurrency, it operates on a programmable network interface that allows smart contract applications. Basically, it is designed to do a lot more than just send money from one place to another without a bank. It can be used for a whole lot of IT and software development functions. Whoa. It is, it is described as a decentralized open source blockchain system that has its own cryptocurrency. That is, open source means that anybody can build applications on its network using its programming language. Ethereum hopes to become a global platform where users from around the world can build and run software that cannot be censored, brought down by any authority, or used for fraud. It was launched in 2015 and back then it sold for less than a dollar. In 2021, Ethereum reached its highest price of well above $4,700. Wow! To discuss our factors again, Ethereum's daily trading volume is also in billions of dollars and it can be traded on all reputable exchanges. Its highest market cap as well as was well over $400 billion and it is a it is very good it's a very good coin to trade in. All important factors are well covered by Ethereum. Okay, so this is a very very good coin very excellent coin and what we're going to be looking at what we're going to be talking about is going to the number one coin now the number one coin is the one everybody knows about everybody knows about this particular coin it's a coin that has been it it, it goes without saying you know it goes without saying, you know, in every single platform where you where you talk about cryptocurrency trading, um, you can't talk about cryptocurrency trading without talking about this coin. This is the number one. This is the one that started the entire thing that we're talking about today. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave some um, uh, some moments before i announced what the coin is exactly well you already know what it is number one coin that we're talking about is bitcoin so bitcoin is a decentralized cryptocurrency the first to actually be used globally so bitcoin is the first coin to actually be used globally on an international scale and it is what started this entire thing this entire movement of bitcoin it is a currency that is based on cryptography technology and it is decentralized because it is not dependent on any third party or banks so bitcoin was conceptualized in 2008 but eventually launched in 2009 it is a peer-to-peer -peer online currency meaning it is a person-to-person -person based exchange currency that does not require any third party but all transactions happen independently between network participants that is people using the bitcoin network so bitcoin has a unique advantage because it is the very first cryptocurrency to appear on the market. It has created a strong global community of millions of people 
and other cryptocurrencies have been created based on it. Wow. So, as a result of this strong community, of, as a result of this strong community, the entire cryptocurrency market became worth over two trillion dollars in 2021 with bitcoin alone worth over one trillion us dollars i'm just letting you know the facts i'm just yeah yeah bitcoin is the most secure yeah you know seth is letting us know that bitcoin is the most secure that's amazing one coin up to a trillion dollars wow and the other coins or alternate coins called altcoins together making up for the remaining one trillion of the market bitcoin started trading for far less than 10 cents but now has grown exponentially in 20, 2013 bitcoin was just over a hundred dollars its all-time high or highest price over sixty-eight thousand dollars was reached in 2021 its daily trading volume is usually in billions of dollars and it can be found on all exchanges as you can see all the important factors are well covered for the Bitcoin so Bitcoin is what it is Bitcoin seems to be the coin that you trade in if you say you want to do cryptocurrency okay Seth says that Apple as a company is worth two trillion dollars roughly so crypto has far more so yeah not just crypto but Bitcoin in itself it's almost as though um, I'm not advising anybody to trade in any coin for any reason. This is not a financial advice. This is not giving you financial advice or whatever. Um, but it's looking like uh, a Bitcoin is, is, man, you know, the stuff. Bitcoin's price movement also affects the prices of other coins. Such As such, it will be wise to always have an eye on it, even if you're trading other coins. So that is a good tip. So the Bitcoin prices, it affects other coins. So you got to keep your eye on there as well. When Bitcoin drops in price, the rest of the market usually follows. After Bitcoin was successful, a group of people in the Bitcoin community came together to create another coin called Ethereum. Ethereum was created to have more functions than Bitcoin. It was designed to allow applications to be, to be on it and to allow programming to be done on it like we already said. So Bitcoin is the number one coin to get into when getting into trading in crypto, trading cryptocurrency. So um, that's it. That's what we have um, for this particular broadcast today. Um, hey, from day one of how to trade crypto till now, from episode one to episode nine, I'm sure that you would have he heard one or two things that should have given you a lot of information. But the final thought I want to leave, the final thing I want to say is that you need to do your own personal research on the entire cryptocurrency space, understand it very well, and pay attention to three things before going into this. The first thing I want you to pay attention to is to do your research, learn about everything you can learn about, about cryptocurrency trading. Of course, nine weeks, uh, nine lessons will not be enough to give you all the information that you need so do your own personal research if you're really thinking about going into this the second thing is for you to um for you to invest little all right don't just take everything when you start trading just put a little bit of uh, uh, money into it to understand one or two things and then before you start growing and the more you educate yourself, the better you will get with this space. So we've come to the end of this broadcast and the end of this three days a week live. Like I said, the very next live that's coming up is going to be on the first Monday of May. And I'm going to be talking something about business. 
that's going to help every single person that has a small business or a medium-sized business maybe you're self-employed it's going to help you move forward so thank you so much for watching uh cryptocurrency in nine videos has been taught we've talked about the pros and the cons of cryptocurrency we've talked about the different um crypto exchanges that you can get into we've talked about the different coins that you can trade in We've talked about the ups and downs and it's just been really really nice hanging out with you and talking about this particular topic with you so thank you so much for watching until next time remember your dream is 